question, who's ready for some taco soup in the not so distant future? I'll be back with the recipe back in a minute. Hi, it's Jan. I'm from New York City, and I love to help people save money. And tonight is Monday night, and I love to give out some wonderful soup recipes, and they're all coming from this book. Isn't that nice? It's very, very nice. Thank you, Patty, from the Life with Patty channel. If, if you ever have an opportunity, please check out her channel. Okay. And tonight's recipe is for taco soup. I hope that the camera's picking up the picture. Yum taco soup. I have to get my little bit of glasses. In the meantime, get yourself a pencil or you could just look it up on the transcript, which was a, a view is really smart. Um, very, very smart suggestion. Thank you so much. All right. So this recipe is for taco soup. And just so that you know, it serves eight people and the total time is 30 minutes. Here's what you're going to need one tablespoon of canola oil, one large onion chopped, two pounds of ground beef, kosher salt, freshly ground black pepper, one 15 ounce can of pinto beans, one 15 ounce can of corn, one 15 ounce can of fire roasted tomatoes, one tablespoon of taco seasoning, one and a half cups of water, sour cream for garnish, and freshly chopped parsley also for garnish. Now, you're going to do this in a large Dutch oven or a pot over medium heat. Heat the oil. Going to add the onion and cook until soft for five minutes. Then add ground beef. Season with salt and pepper and cook until no longer pink. Excuse me. <coughs> add the beans corn, fire roasted tomatoes, taco seasoning, and the water. Let this simmer for 15 minutes. Season with salt and pepper. Garnish with sour cream and parsley before serving. You know what I was thinking? Okay, it asks for ground beef, but who's to stop anyone that doesn't prefer ground beef and prefers ground turkey? Who's to stop someone that doesn't want meat at all in this and just does it completely with the vegetables and no meat? This is where you could kind of sort of play around with it. But um, here's the picture again. That with a couple of corn muffins or a little cornbread, in my opinion, has no choice other than to be delish. Well, thanks so much for being here. Come back next week and all of us have to do, well, what a very smart lady seems to do all the time. Take good care, everybody. Bye-bye.